Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, neighborhood biography artist. I'm joined with Hubby. Okay. And today we're doing the background, the blurry painterly background. Now, yes, uh, Sunday, we uh, us and the Super Toasties hung out, and we did a little bit here on the background. Whew, that's pretty bright. I wonder if I should What's... the whole thing. Let's back it out so we can look at it for a minute. See what we got here. Sorry. I am going to have to move the wood in order to burn it in the most comfortable position. And I think I'll do that now. Hey, Andrea, Kathy, Sheila, Gray, Burl, and Totem Bear. We got a new one in. Yay. All right. Now I'll be able to get the camera out of my face because we're going to work down here in this dark area this cave right here by our smoke but there's no details in there whatsoever so i'm going to use the 18 large and try to keep my strokes as painterly as possible and i just realized i'm kind of I have to pump hey spence knock my chair down because it's further down here versus up here so i'm at three and a half and actually, since we're going really dark, I am going to angle the camera a little bit more and get it out of my face so I can see what I'm doing. And so you can see how I'm moving the tip. So we're going to go ahead and go <coughs> up to four because this is really dark. If you look at, um, I'm going to have to reach over here. If you look at this reference photo, we can see somewhat of how dark the background is. Now this is a updated version and a different color dress. So I don't know if somebody modified the color of the dress, but we look at our sepia. I wonder if this painting was ever restored. I don't know, but I don't think they changed the color if they restored it. What I mean is that blue might be more vibrant. Oh, so that, I don't know. So I'm actually going to drag away from the smoke and grab my photo just so I can see what's what where. Helps it if I, because we do have, we see a little bit of a flame here. So I need to leave that kind of blank. We got some timbers, it looks like, or the top of the rocks. Actually, it's the top of the rocks where the, the, um, flame is casting light so we're going to move down here so actually that is right here that's the houses so we're going to move my board down a little bit Let's see here did i miss anybody else all righty and we are going to drag down and i am going to keep the darkness because remember i'm going to paint over where the smoke is so I need it to come into the smoke so that it has an area so you can see it. In fact, it can go a little darker. And I'm going flat and dragging down. And then again, this is at four on basswood. Basswood always burns differently than birch. Lower heat setting get the same amount of darkness now we can't see where how far the cave is it looks like there's might be a cave wall here based on the color but we can't tell there is a lot of smoke going on so I am going to kind of go out here lighter and just kind of fill it in because I know I'm painting over it Totem Bear says, such a treat to finally catch the live show. It's a treat to have you here. We always appreciate it. Now, after the live, down in the description, if you haven't seen the World Pyography Month videos, I have those posted. Those are linked down in the description. That starts next Tuesday. And I hope a lot of people join in. It would be nice. It would be nice. So we don't see any real texture with this dark. 
Again, I also have my lighter photo that I'm looking at. That's the dark photo. Try not to burn the paper. And it's hard to see because it's not printed out on like photo paper. So the ink goes flat. But we don't have any real painterly strokes in this cave like we do up here. And I'm actually going to go up to four and a half just so I can move a little quicker. Remember thicker pens, bigger pens might take a half second to regain its heat because the wood pulls the heat from the pen. That's how it's burning it. So sometimes it might take a little slower lift and touch down in order to cover, recover that tonal value. And the faster I go, the lighter it's going to be. Hmm. I really like how you're doing the strokes so far. They do, they do just painterly. And that's what I really want. Because that's what I'm trying to focus on is making this look close to a painting even though I'm not using a brush or paint <laughs> and burn in the wood. So I do have to take into consideration that instead of painting on top of the wood because there's a oil or chris uh, gesso at the bottom on top of the wood, I'm working directly with the wood, which will always have a different outcome. You know, I just I had an interesting thought because most of the time you're working to try and make things as realistic as possible and so um, this time you're going quite the reverse yeah you know you're you're well I mean it's from a painting but you're intentionally you know not going for realism you are going for a, a close reproduction of the work but it, in a different medium <laughs> yeah but it is interesting to see you try this approach it's definitely different for me let's see here we have a darker here this is so right now I'm using more of just the tip and dragging down quickly I can always darken it up Carrie's here hey Carrie you can always darken it up have you said hi to everybody I have I didn't sleep good last night. I know. Sorry. I know. In fact, if you've already seen the the dramatic tr theatrical trailer <laughs> of World Biography in that month, you know what I'm wearing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I am intentionally being sketchy with it because it is a painting and I have to get out of my head and be okay. Let's see here with those kind of strokes. So this this curves, where does our rock end? It ends right about here. So it gets quick tip motion. And this is coming in more. We'll get that in there. And then we still have our dark. I always remember where I've just burned is hot. I don't tend to, knock on wood, burn myself with my pen. But sometimes I forget. <laughs> it's still hot where I just burned. And I may lay my hand in it. Greg says, good or bad, I think my stuff tends to look painted most times. He's, Greg is doing a really awesome job. I can definitely see his growth. But, there's also nothing wrong with that either. So it's kind of, I don't want to say anything about it because it's not a bad thing. Yeah. Not that any of it would be a bad thing, but you know what I mean. No. You know what I mean. No. I'm looking at my stuff sideways. I'm going to go ahead and switch because I haven't been looking at this too awfully long. 
so I want to make sure. See, I went a little thick, but that'll be totally okay. Sometimes we move faster. It's almost like reading fast and missing something. Not going to stress about it. Because actually this is going to go much darker. Because if we look at the original painting, this background is really dark. It's a really dark background. Yeah. So, I'm going to have to go over the whole thing to, to blend it back. So in the end, you won't even be able to tell that I took an extra liberty. Not going to be able to tell. Let's see here. So our boards meet here, somewhere here. Let me just get this other board in so I stop getting lost. Even when you don't draw your own pattern, sometimes your brain might freeze on reading it. Let's bring this up. Again, just trying to be painterly with my strokes. Not over focus on on them. It's funny your your painterly is like my hardest attempt to be to be smooth. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think so. I'm not upset about it. Definitely trying to move my arm more. Even though it tends to be my wrist over my arm. And so we can't really see too much detail here. Not really. See, I'm lost on that line. I think this was the dark and this was the rock. That's what it was. Now I see. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slow down my burn. That way it burns darker. Slow down my pen. Look at that. And now I have a rock at the top. That's all I had to do. And since we know, in the end, this goes darker anyway, I did it on purpose. So now I can go and darken this up. Darken up here. Right now I'm working with just the end of the tip. We're the, the widest area of the tip part here. Moving slower. I know it's hard to tell because we are at an angle. Let's go ahead and back it out just for a second. Just to I can see the landmarks better. Oops, I'm just gonna bump everybody around, aren't I? Yep, it's looking like it's supposed to. Awesome. So what I'm gonna do is quickly, I think, uh, fill in, start doing some painterly strokes here. <laughs> Just, yeah. I didn't do anything. Remember I told you this is loose? 
Yeah. So now they gotta, they gotta, <laughs> let me tighten that up. Sorry guys. Sorry. <laughs> but they got to see Collie Bear's thing he made me in like middle school. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna try. I didn't even test my heat or pull any from the tip because I know I need this hot. Anyway, so we're gonna drag down. Since I'm looking at this darker reference, move quickly. Our light is over here. I'm just gonna push this all in. I know it's kind of hard to really see what I'm doing. I hope that I pushed her, pushed the gate up so the so puppy can't be barking closer to the door. See, our light is in here, so I'm gonna leave a spot. And we got some dark in here. See how I'm being more sketchy, more, less, more confident with my stroke, less worried about it. Yeah. That I think is part of what a brush stroke may convey. Yeah. So that's what I need to do. Be more relaxed. I'm actually going to bump up to five and a half because I'm moving so quickly and I do need to darken this area. I can always go back with the extra large spoon shader and smooth anything out if I need to. See, I'm looking at this reference and it's not like I can see a whole lot. So, I'm using just the tip. I'm moving quickly. some drag down with just the tip. Remember, I kind of want this blurry. So I'm just putting the shapes in. Yeah. So we got a dark line here. It actually might be easier to do this standing up. More like what a painter does. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Hopefully I'm not too far off camera. How are you going to work that with your camera? I'm going to stand off to the side. All right, let's see what we can do with this. See if it would be easier. That way I can use more of my arm. Versus the control. I think it was the first time that We've seen you burn standing. Sometimes I do if it's a big. <coughs> if it's a big area, sometimes I will. Hmm. Not all that often. Yeah, I don't paint standing that often. But sometimes you need to be able to move around quickly and easy. Yeah, only when it's a really big piece. And yep, it looks like a mess, and it's the level it's supposed to. But I mean, it's going to come together, so. See, it's allowing me to move my hand in different directions without moving the board as much. Yeah. I wonder. Wonder, wonder, wonder. What's she doing? Moving my hair back because it's important. Oh, well, that's what I thought. I'm wondering if I can do. Hopefully, it's got. Looks like it does. 
I don't know how much it's got. I can always burn over it. Deep breath. Um, I like this. I like seeing you go for it. So. <coughs> Darken this a little bit more. Hmm. I can always burn over it, so I'm not gonna. Deep breath. It'll be okay. Oh, you can really smell that. But it's really picking up the grain, huh? Mm hmm It always does. What I'm trying to do is block in a large area. Carrie wants to know how your arm is after Morgan attacked you. Oh, <laughs> you know, I knew somebody would ask. I'll show you in a minute. Definitely takes some control. Kind of want a smaller flame. I don't really like that. Because you're getting the fuzzy effect. Yeah. And I think that, like, even if you do burn over it, then, you know, it, it really helps speed up the process. I mean, you're going for painterly anyway, so. Like, I always tend to think of, like, the flame as, like, it's like an airbrush. It does take a little practice. Well, I'm out of practice. But, can't be in practice unless you do it. Yep. Trying not to have the flames sit in one area. Gotta remember there's gonna be a light right there. Do you have the spray bottle over there? Mm-mm. Oh. Well, normally when we do this, it's been a while. It's down there. You have the spray bottle ready. Just in case Valerie sets the studio on fire. <laughs> Why would you jinx me? I'm not. In fact, saying it out loud will make it less likely to happen. <laughs> See, we know the smoke is right here. Gonna paint over it. And it says awesome bow. Now I want to use mine. Yeah. I got a bigger one. I'm going to be using it for another project. Well, I, I really like. Once I get the wood this week. I like the torch. Uh, I think you should use it more often. It's definitely something to practice with. I'm just looking for my darkest spots right now. So this is almost if like a painter was blocking in with acrylics before they go over it with the whales. Kathy says, I don't have one, but I'm going to get one. <laughs> John Larson is here, says, hey, what's John. up? We're burning stuff. <laughs> Valerie is literally drawing with fire today. But she's always drawing with fire, but it's more like drawing with really high heat. But today, there's actual fire involved. Yes, you are blocking in, and then, I'll which is which is what it. I do too, actually. When I have to do a large area like that, I will use my airbrush and block in the very large shapes or, or tones, and then I'll follow it up with brushwork. It saves so much time. Right now, I'm trying to make sure I get my horizon right.
Yeah. See, and what's funny is that it is looking like a blurry background. Yeah. Looks done. Definitely. It's, it's finished. Definitely <laughs> something you gotta take a deep breath and just do. Well, I mean, this is also stepping out of, you know, I wouldn't say your comfort zone, but it, but it, oh, yeah. but it isn't what you normally do. So. No, it is not. <clears throat> I'm looking for any other dark spots that I can just put in. I said I needed to darken that raven. Carrie says, I see that something else I have to get. Mm -hmm. Kathy says, it's looking. Thumbs up. Yay. John says, looking good. Just blocking in some of the darks down there. Yeah. I'm not going to touch the ravens over here until I have them in. Those are where some flowers are. Right. I have left my burner on because I'm going to go back. So it's just easier to leave it on. Yeah. But standing is definitely a lot easier if you're doing this. Yeah. And also worth mentioning is that you have your your board up and at an angle, yes. which makes this Not a, flat. a lot easier. Trying to burn on a horizontal surface so that's horizontal to the ground um, with a with a torch uh, is really really not good. You know, the heat comes up at you, and also um, it, the torch has a different dynamic. All right. All right. Carrie says, really loving it, Valerie. Thank you. Now, let's start putting some darker burns in. How hot is it going to be? All right, I can handle it. One thing is I lost my graphite lines, but well, I, th I think I'm not going to stress about it. Yeah, I, I think it's yeah. I, I really like this. I yeah. think you should do this more often. What do you think, Toasties? <laughs> Thinks you, Valerie should do this kind of thing more often. Well, we do see the biggest change in the piece right now. Well, yeah, yeah, because. Now there's one thing I have to keep in mind is because I've already got a ton of carbon on the board, it's actually going to gunk up my pins a little bit more than it normally would. Because the carbon's already there, I'm not pre-creating it. So yeah. I'm going to take my pin, bump it up to nine, get it some red. This is a paraffin wax. To not, oh you're cleaning it. I'm going to tap it a couple of times, let it burn off, turn it off. Get it cool real quick. <coughs> this is, uh, oh, excuse me, leather strap with some aluminum oxide already on here. I'm going to do a couple of swipes here and then go to a clean area without it. And we now have a clean tip. But if you're doing the wax method, you really shouldn't go from burning off the wax to directly uh, burning again. You should wipe it off. And, and we can get started again. This is a lot less damaging to your tips oh, yeah. than some other ways of maybe doing it. So if you're, if you're cleaning your tips with something that's very abrasive then you know, you're know you also wearing down your tips. I think you've got some tips that are like that. Not not my Optimus. No, 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 no. Some, old, no, no, some no. older stuff when you're still no, no, no. still learning the ropes. A very long time ago, there was dinosaurs, I'm pretty sure. So, um, no, that's for you, not me. Yeah, I know. 
doing? I'm going to go ahead and bump down to four and a half. There's a dinosaur still around. Maybe. <laughs> Good. You're, you're, old. you're a dinosaur. Oh, Greg's got to go. Hi, Greg. Have a good rest of your day. Yep. Hopefully we gave you a show. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. Fire is always good. Alrighty. So this part. It's quickly dragging. Full pin. I bumped down to four and a half because I don't want this one. This part quite as dark. I don't want any lines. And remember, the sky is really painterly. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm seeing strokes that are going up and down in the piece, but then also back and forth. Drag this way. Drag the end of the smoke so that it shows through when I go to see. Oh, I'm off camera. Sorry. Let's bump it up just a little bit. Plus, it allows my pen to reheat. I'm going to angle it so the camera can kind of see what I'm doing. Plus, it gives me a little bit more room to move. Blend it out. Because we do see some, not a whole lot. I'm going to have to try to figure out because I don't know that I really want to um, paint with the orange as well. So I'm going to have to figure out, because up here he has orange and yellow mixed in yeah, with the smoke, and I don't know if I want that. So I'll have um, to figure it out. John wants to know, so what wood should he buy for his four foot by three foot project portrait? Four by three <sighs> foot, wow. See, I'm still looking for four foot. See, lengthwise, I'd say go to lumber yard, but I don't think you're going to find the, the thickness, the uh, width. Because this was six foot or eight foot board, yeah. but only by 13. You may, what's the project for? Project. You may have to attach two, th uh, two boards together in order to get that width. I mean, the only other thing would be like plywood. Or but, plywood. But you have to be careful with plywood because plywood has often got a lot of, um, well, they have a lot of uh, fillers it, or things that they use to fix, you know, the, the facing of it. So it has to be like really high grade plywood and you'd have to find a, a section that doesn't have any of those in there any of those things in there. Cause Actually, how much are you willing to pay for it? Because through Trakel, you can get custom sizes. Do they go that large, though? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Well, it's something to look at. But yeah, I mean, I, I would think plywood, plywood, and Carrie said that, too. It's a birch face plywood. But again, you have to find a sheet that doesn't have, because a lot of times they'll patch knots, and yep. so they'll put those lemon-shaped patches on there. It's or, a lower grade. Or they'll use um, glue to fill cracks and things like that. So you'd have to go to like a wood supply store that that supplies for like cabin, cabin, cabin tree, cabin. Yeah. Cabinet making. And um, and do that. And like Valerie said, you might not be able to find. A sheet that wide, because four by three, like forty-eight by thirty-six. Yeah, because plywood is is four by eight, so you're like four feet by eight feet. Yeah. Yeah. So you're looking at a significant piece of, of you know of wood, 
but um, but yeah, you might you might be able to find some nice pieces that match up well that you can kind of um, that you can kind of you know put together. But you'd have to make sure that the grain was like complementary because. Yeah, know. I don't. Where is he? I can't remember where John lives. Let's stay. I know we don't have any access to lumber yards that have nice big pieces like that. Yeah. Because the biggest pieces that we could find here locally were like. You, lengthwise, you can get them quite a long ways, but. Yeah. Was like what, eight, 18 inches maybe? He said this one was 13 at its widest. Yeah. Mm. So right now I'm just trying to get this shape the way I like it. Yeah. And this will all start making sense once I start blending everything together. Remember, we got to make a mess before we can clean it up. Yep. That's true. Oh, is that a t-shirt? Nah. <laughs> it's true, though. Well, it is true. Before we can clean it up, we got to make it messy. Yep. I'm going to switch over to the lar extra large spoon shader because I'm curious to see. It's a thinner pen. I'm curious to see how it'll handle this. I do think I'm going to completely burn over the hole there. So I can get the color closer. John's doing another piece for um, Selena Quintanilla Museum. Huh, that's awesome. Yeah. So are they supplying, are they paying for the wood? I would imagine that they're paying for the commission. Uh, he's got a girl But did you budget it. the wood in? Oh, I'm sure. Because that's a really, that's going to be an expensive piece of wood. It'll be an awesome piece of wood, but it's going to be expensive. Mm, let's see here. Nope, not liking this as much right now. Not right now. Go back over here. Hopefully it's still pretty warm. What time are we at? Um, 20 minutes to the top of the hour. You know what? Come over here and do this. I have to step away, please. Do what? Just do that. Just stand here? No, move the pen on the board. Move the pen on the In board. In the dark areas. In the dark areas. I'm going to mess it up. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not good, guys. <laughs> Um, I, I'm not sure where she went, but it was an emergency. So, yeah, whatever happens, I'm not responsible for this. Oh my goodness. So she's definitely going to get some random uh, strokes. I'm like wondering if it's actually on. Oh yeah, it's on. Oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> I gotta try and fix it. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I, I, I told my kids I had this big uh, painting that I was doing. And I was like, here, block in the background. And so they did. But I ended up really having to like work hard to like cover up some of the, the things that they did. So they were still helpful. But you know, I wanted them to be a, piece, a part of it. And uh, But yeah, you, you can definitely tell, I can tell, where the kids went at the painting. And um, yeah, so. Uh, I don't normally think that she would do this, but you know, here we are. So, um, yeah. 
So yeah, so you know, as many of you know, um, I've done pyrography before with Valerie. Like she's taught me some things, and so I do have a rudimentary understanding of it, but I don't have the instinct for it. It's not my primary medium. Um, so it, and it is so much different than uh, you know other methods of, of creating art. You know, it's so much different than painting. It's so much different than, um, you know, you'd think intuitively it would be like similar to, you know, charcoal or, or, you know, graphite, but it's not, you know, it's so much different. Um, you know, and it is really, really actually quite difficult in a lot of ways, which, as you know, so, um, yeah. So I, I'm going to just kind of try and stay out here in the periphery and do this um, so that I don't create any more <laughs> damage to it. Um, but, um, yeah. So I, have, um, I guess I know some of you are doing pieces like this or are planning to do pieces like this. It's a really, really good practice to do a master copy, I think, or a master study. You haven't done anything. Oh, you'll see. I'll see what. Yeah. Oh, you haven't done that then. Um, Thank yeah. you, though. Yeah, I have. No, you haven't. Look at all the splotchy parts. What splotchy parts? The parts <laughs> you're fixing right now. I don't see splotchy parts. It, it looks like a... Look at that. Epileptic woodpecker went after it. Nope. And you know what? What? I was thinking, because I don't care for that. I don't like how it's, it's not sitting right with me. Okay. So, this is 400 grit. I'll be right back. Okay. Where'd you go and take turns, huh? <laughs> I don't know where you went. I have to go. You can see that carbon. Just wanted to lighten it up a little bit. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, you stopped. I'm taking my glasses off. Alrighty. See, I'm at six. I probably shouldn't have handed him a pen at six. I don't think he's ever used temperatures that high. I'd say the drag motion is doing much better. What I just did is I knocked the high spots off because just like when wood gets wet, when it gets hot, the grain expands and can rise. So if you're not getting a smooth burn, no matter what you try, that could be the problem. And the Torque is more likely to do that. We might actually have to end the live early. Sorry, guys. One of those days. Let's see here. Let's see if we get any final questions. So, next Tuesday. Do we keep up with this or do we start with Royal Pyrography Month? Now, I don't plan on filming or live streaming all of Pyrography Month, but at the same time, I don't necessarily have anything right now. And we talked, Jason and I talked, it wouldn't be a bad thing for me to revisit some of the ones I haven't finished. That way, because I have to start so many new projects. My stacks are getting bigger and bigger. I kind of want to re revisit some of them to finish them off. Uh, so I really want to hear what you guys think. I think we're going to... I'll at least get the skyline part up here done. That way we can work on the sky. Or you guys can see the beginning of my uh, World Pyrography Math piece. Let you guys tell me. As I've got the camera in my face.
And see that? I might have to do some sanding. That's darker than I want. But that's okay. All fixable. Fixing it to where I like it. So, if we don't have any 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 final questions, don't forget to watch the World Pyrography Month videos. They're linked down in the description. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, please, if you're new. Whatever is best for you. Thank you, Carrie. I'll figure it out. I still have New New Year surprises to go. And, uh, yeah, so I will get it figured out. We won't start a new project, I don't think. We'll either do this sky or I will pop over to my pile and we'll work on something else in the pile. <laughs> so you know what to say with me. You're awesome. You can do this. Why? Because you're a pyro artist. Happy burning, guys. <laughs>